This video will give you an overview of all the steps involved in the log cabin assembly and before you start, we'll give you some useful tips. Before assembly, please read the manual. This will help you avoid mistakes and save time. On arrival, please put the cabin on a dry surface, avoid the parts being in direct contact with the ground and ensure they are protected from direct sunlight or rain. Minimum of two persons are required to erect the cabin. Please mind your health and safety. Keep children away from the assembly area at all times. A solid and level foundation is the most important element of your cabin to ensure a long lifespan. The recommended foundation system for any of our cabins would either be a strip or a post foundation. Alternatively, a slab foundation or even concrete blocks could be used. Before you start to erect your cabin, Please make sure that all parts listed in the instructions are present. Please group all parts according to wall plans and, if possible, arrange them around the cabin according to the order of assembly. Make sure that all parts you need are available and nothing is missing or damaged. Tools you will need Spirit level, tape measure, leather, screwdriver, knife, carpenter's hammer, rubber mullet, saw, string, plane and drill. First, lay the foundation beams as shown in the drawing on your foundation. Where necessary, fix adjacent beams. When building the foundation framework, it is important to make sure that it is level and square. Do this by checking that both diagonals are exactly equal. We recommend putting felt or packaging film under the foundation beams for additional protection from humidity. Begin erecting walls with the half logs at the front and rear. The half logs must be placed 5 mm over the edge of the foundation beams. The tank side of the wall logs must always go to the top. If necessary, the hammer block can be used, but you must never hit the wall logs directly with a hammer. Normally, the apexes of our cabins would have been already assembled for you, but in some cases the apex can be made of several parts. Slots in the apexes are there for the purlins or roof beams. You can see similar slots in the purlins which will match if the cabin has been erected correctly. Before using screws, it is recommended to pre-drill narrow holes. Then fix the purlins to the gables. Should the apexes not line with the walls perfectly, please check whether all wall logs are tightly on top of each other. You must tap all the logs from top to bottom with a hammer and block or use the plane to align the apex with the wall. Use the lengthening bolts for extending the treaded rods and insert them into the wall from above. Screw the drive nut on the top end of the rod and fix it to the wall by tapping it into the log. Use the nut and washer at the lower end of the rod and tighten the corner of the building. Should the wall log shrink, adjust the bolt later. If a wooden strip has been provided for storm protection, please make sure that it connects the lowest wall log to the apex. You should begin laying the roof boards from the front. Roof boards must be fixed with nails to all of the purlins and to the walls. Don't press the roof boards too close to each other. A 1 to 2 mm gap is required to allow the timber to swell. Please adjust the widths of the last board at the rear with a saw. Build the terrace in the same way as you built the walls. The terrace is an optional extra to some of our models and in some cases the terrace and the cabin come as one unit. The terrace boards are treated and must be placed with a 10 mm cap in between them. If the frames for the doors and windows have not been pre-assembled, the outside boards must be fixed first. With double doors, please assemble the jamb first. Then put the door or window in the wall and fix it with a board from inside as well. Do not fix the doors or windows to the walls. Make sure you have installed the doors and windows correctly. All doors must open to the outside. 
the tilt and turn windows to the inside. All window handles must be inside. Place the floorboards onto the foundation beams and press them tightly together. Then, using nails, fix them to the beams. We recommend that you place the nails in a way that the nail heads would remain hidden. Boards must be fixed to every foundation beam. If necessary, you can adjust the width of the last board with a saw. Skirting boards must be fixed with nails. The roof is completed by installing fillets. The roof edge reinforcement will fix the end of the roof boards and will give a nice finish to the eaves. The eave boards should be placed on the edge reinforcements and they will cover the ends of the roof boards. The gable mouldings will be fixed to the purlins in front of the roof boards. The roof covering must be installed according to the instructions and fixed with roof nails or a stapler. The very last step is to place roofing felt fillets on the roof cover and the gable segments on top of the cables. After finishing the assembly of your cabin, it must immediately be treated from the outside as well as the inside. Timber needs protection against mold, moisture and also UV. We recommend that you treat your cabin on a yearly basis.